Do you think there's much of a difference between a Ukrainian lady that lives in Kiev and one that lives in Sumy in a, in a smaller town? Are, are they very same or are, is there some differences? What do you think they, those might be? I cannot, I cannot give an answer because I don't usually go to Kiev much. Okay. That's why, yeah, okay. yeah. But our girls compare, let's say, to mm -hmm. the girls who lives in, uh, uh, in a big city in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's different. Different. Totally different. It's yeah. like you were just saying, I, at least I, I understood, I thought you were saying that yeah. um, small town people are more friendly and just a different type of person. They're more laid back. Like, more laid yeah. back and, and, and I would agree with what your previous statement that in any country in the world, really a small community in a big city, the yeah. mindset's different, uh, they're more friendly. I come from rural small town uh, Grandview, Manitoba in Canada, so I tend to be more friendly than your average Canuck, your average Canadian, because that's my roots. Yeah. Um, and I think, I've noticed that in Sumi, that people are more friendly. When they go to Kiev, it's a bit of, bit of big city syndrome where people are They like, are, but they don't have time for you. Exactly. They're just like, yeah, sure, but I have to go. Yeah, right. And here is like not the Like Shanghai or, or, yeah, or wherever yeah. it's, everybody. Oh, Shanghai, don't, they don't even see you. They're just passing <laughs> <You're invisible>. by. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's one thing we were talking a little bit about after, off camera, and you were asking me about why. Yeah, why, why would uh, would foreign guys uh -huh. like from all the way Canada travel to Ukraine to a city, a small city in the map, to meet his wife or right. his, Sumi, his girlfriend? Yes. Why Sumi? Why not Kiev? Why not? Uh, some not, other yeah, bigger yeah. city, why not Lviv or some other yeah. uh, Odessa or some bigger city. And I think for myself, uh, I've, I've gone on some dates in Kiev and I've gone on some dates in Sumy and I've noticed, like we were talking about, the ladies different, more, more uh, career oriented, uh, more, of a, more of a city mindset. And in Sumy, I found ladies are more laid back, more friendly, more family oriented. So. Hopefully that answers your question. That's but why Ukrainian? Why Ukrainian? It's exactly what you said. That Ukrainian ladies are known uh, around the world to be beautiful, you know, and very family oriented, traditional values, right? It's like the way our country was 50 years plus ago, 50 years I would say ago, we used to be like this. Our ladies used to be yeah. more like this. So it's like going back in time. Honestly, uh, and uh, I'm traditional values. I was raised with traditional values. You know, we were my mom and father, my mom and papa mm -hmm. uh, were very much like a Ukrainian uh, couple today, like your mother and father were. Yeah, that was my first expression about Canadian people because I have a uh, Canadian friends mm -hmm. and they were traditional family people, and I was just like thinking, yeah, Canada probably are similar to Ukraine in the way they've been raised and like. Well, because I came from the farm, but yeah. if you talk to another man my age that was raised in the city, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be this way. So, mm -hmm. so the, to answer your question, yeah, it's because Ukrainian ladies have that traditional values. And if you're a man that's interested in family and commitment yeah. and this sort of thing, not uh, here to play around kind of thing, then yeah, it's, it's, it's obvious, uh, you know, come to the Ukraine. But how did you hear, sorry, I turn all conversation, no, I give okay. you questions. Now no, I'm being interviewed, yeah, I feel but, like. Uh, <laughs> how did you hear about Ukraine woman? Why, who gave you this idea or like advice about I Ukraine? I have this incredibly wise, profoundly wise advisor and um, his name is Google. <laughs> <laughs> I, asked Google. Yeah. I asked Google. I asked Google. No, it's like you said. Ukrainian ladies are notoriously known for as you just described them. Yeah. And that's that's the way I was raised. So for me, it's a natural gravitation to want to find a wife that has these traditional values, which is very, very, very difficult to find back in Canada or back in the Western world. Well, thank you for a good compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is a big compliment. It is. It is. I, I, my experience of the Ukrainian spirit since I've been here for two months, I'm absolutely amazed and I really admire and look up to the Ukrainian people for the spirit. Uh, times are tough here. Let's not, let's call a spade a spade. Economically, uh, politically, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of instability. But I find the Ukrainian spirit 
looks up at the positive side of life, even though I'm um, trying to understand how people survive on the income they make, you know, the, 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 the grievna has gone down by 300% and prices at the same time have come up. It's tough to make ends meet to, to live here. But Ukrainian people for the most part are happy. And it's yeah, we have already immunity against all the crises are going down and up. Right, so, yeah. right, right. So, you know, you guys have this amazing resilience. And uh, I really admire this resilience and this positivity. And uh, I just, uh, I'm in love with the, with the Ukrainian people. <laughs> I, think oh, it, I think it's... That, you're I always welcome here. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. Yeah.